This is Timmy. Say hi, Timmy. Good morning, YouTube. Dr. Solar coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So this is a continuation of our Solar X versus the year regarding generators. So if you recall, about two weeks ago, I purchased this LEPAC 11.5 kVA generator. And the reason we purchased it was to try to replicate the experiences our customers have. Um, we've noticed that the day inverters will not accept charge or even recognize uh, gasoline generators. They worked fine with diesel generators, but they didn't work fine with gasoline generators. So since we've been installing Solar X, we want to make sure that the experience was not the same for our Solar X customers. So we went and purchased this generator, and um, after a few starts, we got it connected. Our biggest challenge was uh, firmware related. So we got the firmware updated, and the invert. Well, let me go back. Uh, Solar X made a specific attempt to have their inverters work with generators. It could, but they did not set specifics for generators. So you can plug in a generator. It sees a sine wave and it starts charging your batteries. But now they've set it up. They've done a firmware update that allows you to that allows the, gen, the inverter to signal to generator, start the generator, and start charging the batteries, and then bypass and power your loads. So we didn't have that firmware version. We updated to that firmware version, and initially it charged at only 350 watts. So we kept fiddling with the settings to the power it would charge to 1,200 watts without a problem. So I sent messages to SolarX telling them that the uh, device wasn't, that the inverter was a problem, that it was not charging at a rate high enough to match the settings that I put in. I wanted to charge at 3,000 watts. It was only charging at 1,250 watts. So they were going back and forth. They couldn't figure it out. So I tried an experiment. I turned off everything that was not, um, I turned off everything, the refrigerator, the ACs, and I noticed the amount of charge going to the inverter went up. Yesterday morning, we turned the generator on, and once it would get to 2,000 watts in charge, the, generator would, the inverter would drop the generator. So let me repeat that. So we turn the gen on to charge the batteries, you know, while powering the house. And once the charge on the gen will get to 2000 watts, the sound on the generator will change and the inverter will drop it. And then the process will start again and then it will just keep repeating itself. So we realize the problem is not the inverter. The problem is definitely the generator. As long as we're charging at 1,500 watts, we didn't have a problem, but once we went to 2,000 or higher, it will drop it. So I am thinking, so I sent a message to the seller of the generator telling him my experiences. He asked me what the load was, I explained to him. He says, that shouldn't be happening because this inverter should be, this generator should be able to generate five, six, seven, eight, nine kilowatts without a problem. He says we should check the oil. We check the oil, the oil is fine. In fact, you can see we spilled excess oil. We check the oil, the oil is fine. So we think the problem is the generator. Once the load increases, we think that either the voltage or the frequency changes, and that change falls outside the parameters we've set in the inverter, and um, it drops. So today, I will, ch I will adjust the parameters so wide. Um, on the high side, We'll adjust it up to 56. It's currally, I think, 55. We'll adjust this to 56, 57. On the low side, we'll adjust it to 44. On the voltage side, we'll leave it from 170 all the way to 250, which is what this generator says you can do. And then let's see, actually, we have it set to 257 currently, so maybe we'll do it to 260. And then we'll try it again and see if the problem goes away. If the problem doesn't go away, then we have already contacted the seller. I'll tell him to either come and get it repaired or replaced. So wish me luck. Um, so far, when it comes to the generator being able to charge your batteries and power your loads, uh, the Solar X is a clear winner over the day. Yeah.
if you like what you see give me a thumbs up if you had to subscribe please click the subscribe button once again this is dr sola coming to you from lagos nigeria